snuggle down, cozy up, and relax. Tonight, we're traveling to the Sleevies, a moonlit mountain range beneath the mighty Handies, to meet Bobo, a lullaby llama who just loves playing her panpipes whenever twilight falls. Somewhere in the moshy world are mountains called the Handies. And when the moonlight catches them, their peaks glint just like candies. The snow that coats this mighty range is said to be enchanted. For when you roll around in it, a wish is sometimes granted. Beyond the handies lie the sleeves, smaller but quite hilly. And on their rocky lower slopes, Bobo's feeling silly. See, Bobo is a llama who loves her lullabies. She plays them on her panpipes for her friends with tired eyes. But not all llamas share her joy. In fact, they often hide. Because Bobo cannot hold a tune, even if she tries. Her tuneless panpipe playing is enough to make you wince. And now her llama family have started dropping hints. Bobo knows the other llamas think her playing's bad. And the last thing that she wants to do is make them tired or sad. But then she hears about the handies and their special magic snow. So she packs her panpipes in a bag and decides that she must go. Bobo sets off as the sun is setting in the west. She sees the distant handies and as ever, she's impressed. 
they saw towards the crimson sky majestic snow-flecked shards and even for a llama ascending them is hard as she walks towards the handies Bobo plays her pipes and cause she's all alone she plays well anything she likes a lullaby about a llama with a dish and a spoon followed by a ditty called Alpacas on the Moon. Bobo's on the foothills, skirting round Lake Moshikaka, playing something all about a little sheep called Baba. The starlit slopes she's trotting up are green with moshy grass. But then she sees some hints of snow beyond a deep crevasse. A little rope bridge lies ahead. It's not been used in years. And half its planks are missing, reinforcing Bobo's fears. She trots across the wonky bridge and leaps over the gaps. Then seconds after crossing, the bridge starts to collapse. But Bobo isn't looking and she stopped playing her ditty because she stumbled on a quite astounding ancient moshy city. This must be Moshi Bichu, a legendary place built by cosmic llamas, said to be from outer space. Moshi Pichu's beautiful, of that there is no doubt. But there don't seem to be any cosmic llamas hanging out. Wandering round the ruins, Bobo plays her pipes once more then sees a wonky wizard emerging from
from a door. The wizard says, You must be Bobo. Judging from your, er, uh, playing. I've not heard Pan Pipes play like that. Well, sorry, but just saying. You should climb the handies and frolic in their snow. Then make a wish. The tunes you play all sound like ones we know. Why do you think I'm heading there? Says Bobo, feeling peeved. Thank goodness, says the wizard. Your friends will be relieved. Perhaps you'd like some company. The climb is pretty steep. And the sooner that you touch the snow, the sooner friends can sleep. And the wonky wizard climb the slopes together and Bobo keeps on playing despite the worsening weather when they finally reach the peak it's crammed with cosmic llamas playing sleepy lullabies and wearing pink pajamas. Their panpipes sound so soothing compared to Bobo's tunes. It's clear these cosmic llamas have been here for many moons. Their leader says to Bobo, We came here long ago and sprinkled all the Handy's peaks with tons of magic snow. We lived in Moshi Picchu but had to move away. Because llamas in the neighboring areas said we couldn't play. So now we live way up here and make a nightly wish that every tune our panpipes play is melodic, calming bliss. The wonky wizard seems impressed. He loves a bit of magic. Come along, 
he urges Bobo. Your playing's pretty tragic. Bobo takes her poncho off, then rolls in moonlit snow. And gradually, her panpipes start to shimmer, shake, and glow. She puts them to her frosty lips and plays a melody. The wondrous tune that drifts out a relaxing rhapsody. All the llamas on the mountain start to feel so tired as Bobo's panpipes finally play a tune that sounds inspired. With the cosmic llamas drifting off, Bobo is elated. But suddenly, she has a thought which makes her feel deflated. To play this well for all my friends, I need this magic snow. But it'll melt down in the sleeves as they're warm and far too low. Don't worry, says the wizard. I have a cunning scheme. We'll make sure that your panpipe playing always sounds serene. He walks away and kneels upon a shimmering starlit ridge, then waves his wand and summons forth a quite humongous fridge. Impressed, admiring the appliance. After all, his moshy magic's not a perfect science. Bobo says, What use is this? A fridge so very big. Then the wizard pulls a shovel from his hat and says, you dig? Bobo finally understands. She needs a place to store. Some magic snow to help her playing make her friends all snore. She shovels it inside the fridge. In the section where stuff freezes. But once it's full, she wonders how she'll move it to the sleeveys. The wizard strokes his flowing beard. Then smiles and says, I know. We'll ask these cosmic llamas to help us move this snow. Bobo puts her pipes down, and the cosmic llamas stir. 
Then the wonky wizard tells them of his plans to use their fur. a lot of moshlings know that llama fur is strong and when you start to pull at it it stretches super long but when it comes to cosmic llamas their fur's more like steel so the wizard tells their leader, Come on, let's strike a deal. Bobo sees the wonky wizard whispering to the llama, who smiles and nods quite happily. This wizard's quite the charmer. Lama gives the wizard a hefty clump of fleece, then watches as he stretches it to make its length increase. Finally, the wizard's holding what looks like a rope. Which he spins around his pointy hat, then chucks way down the slope. Miles below, the rope twirls round a jagged, mossy rock. While the wonky wizard knits a fleecy cradle at the top. it's tethered to a tree and the fleecy cradles big enough to carry two or three so Bobo and the wizard drag the fridge on board then ask the sleepy cosmic llamas if they'll help with one more task. The llamas help attach the cradle to the rope above. Then they give the whole shebang one almighty shove. See, the wizards made a zip wire to transport them at great speed to Bobo's sleevy homeland. It's a hokey plan indeed. They whiz above the snowy slopes 
and over Moshi Pichu. But Bobo's got her eyes shut tight. This is not what she agreed to. As moonbeams light the lower hills, the cradle starts to slow, then drops them in the sleeves with their fringe of magic snow. Her friends all gather round, and then she opens up the fridge to show them what she's found. She shovels out some snow and puts it on the mossy floor, then rolls in it and. Pipes a tune she's never tried before. Her lullaby sounds magical. Her friends are all surprised, and then they start to yawn and stretch. They're truly mesmerized. Finally. Bobo's llama pals are sleeping to her tune, and Bobo gazes up toward the glowing moshi moon. The Andes' distant snow-clad peaks look very calm and tranquil, and Bobo whispers. To her wizard friend, I'm truly thankful. The wizard bows and waves his wand. Then, poof, he disappears. And as Bobo snuggles, all is silent. Then she thinks she hears a distant. Sleepy melody floating on the breeze, a dreamy tune from up above that makes her feel at ease. Perhaps her cosmic lava friends are playing lullaby. Besides.